Okay. It has started. Yeah. Yes, yes. So we should start. Okay. Uh, so today's topic is that um, next days. So next days is what? It's a server side rendering of React. Means uh, whatever we have seen the demo that we are adding our component and run the code from the React itself, right? So Next.js is uh, one React, it's a framework that enables to run that React.js with the server side, HSR, this is called, okay? Uh, so this demo today I will create and uh, the, I'll share my screen. Let me share my screen first. Just confirm my screen is visible or not. Confirm, right? Yes. Yes, yes. So you can see that this is the official website of Next.js. So uh, here, uh, your code and the deployment, whatever is there uh, from the React side, when I create the components, means in this demo, we'll create one Node.js server. And from the Node.js server, we'll connect in the React application from that part. And that is the today's meeting. So you also go with that documentation. Everything is there in the Node.js. You can go in the docs over here. The installation, how we can create the Node.js in the NPX create React app latest and also all documentation is there if we create the next js part so here we can create and then we have to build the application after that we can run so that i'll show you This name as usual, you can keep or you can also provide your own name. Description, this is next is project demo creation. Entry point, it should be index.js, but I'm not writing anything. By default, index.js, test command, git repository, keywords, author, license, and then that will the schema of that package JSON. Yes. Now, first, we're going to create some pages over here. Inside that, It is folder. We are going to create one index.js file. Okay. At export default. Just become non stream. Now, in the packet, the JSON. File. So add a couple of dependencies. So dependencies will be that.
that will be your next this package is required We have a dom. That is also. And adding some script for that by default test, it has been there, but we have to remove the test. And we are write some own command like dev. And that will be the next. This command now is next day. And then build. And that is your also next build. Start. Next stop. And go to the index in inside the page inside the pages. We have to write index.js file and On each one tab, we add hello world first. Tendencies we have to add in my project, right? npm i install it will take some time for installing the dependencies. Whatever we are right, and uh, that first we have to create the pages. Inside the pages, we have to add the files, the structure. Now npm run build. Let's try to build.
and you can see that next dot next this folder is created right it takes some time What's the need to look at? What we have Tom also with the eye.
The installation, I think, probably is if I, I have other things on the left. It is on the top of this. Is Yes. So build is there, but I think here it is not working why. Let me try it once again. It is That will be Oh, yes, no, it's coming. How NPM run start will do. So you can see one URL is given, right? Localhost 3000. Fast rendering that is from the next JS. 
this hello world is coming from here your index.js file just close all things So every time you have to uh, whatever change you want right so you have to build this thing means some if i want to change the file or if any content like or anything so you have to build this thing and then after build this will be deleted because of the server side is coming it's not uh, if i control c and npm run build you can see automatic some files been created this file like info optimized production build is created okay this all files is creating from the next js okay and the files are located in the, the dot next catch server static build id everything is going to be in the schema format json format this files a bit created so whatever changes is there now if i will run it so npm run start npm run start okay this is the first thing of your need this now i will create some components over here inside the pages and here i'll do one thing import I'll create some CSS file. CSS and copy in that index dot index dot module dot CSS. Here you have to add index dot module dot CSS, and also create one card dot JS file and. One thing card dot module dot CSS respective CSS I will add. So in this CSS, just have to input my card that will write the card logic over there from dot card. And style I have to input input from styles uh, from that will be a dot index dot module I need to return something. You. Last name, like you can add uh, styles dot app and 
from header section. Header class name we can add some class that is coming from style dot header. So CSS I want to go there and this is my CSS file. I'm not writing CSS. Just copy the CSS files. Normal CSS file. There is no CSS. I don't know. In this module, I have copied and that is my index module. So I will copy from style.app from index module.css. So this is app. Okay. So we have to input this as styles and rest of the styles you have to add like styles dot header. and add one image src this image folder that uh, required on public means in the src to create one public folder Inside the public, you have to add the CSS, uh, your image assets on the box. Into the public folder. Okay. In case I will add logo.png, some class name I will add. That should be your styles. Not logo. Logos class I have already. And alt that is my logo class. Alt in name you can take it logo. This is the header. We need some div. Div class name that is my grid like styles dot grid and here I will create one component that is my card card component card.js I just import some input and that will be your card style uh, from dot card dot module dot css here the card css i write the css is there just to write the logic 
that is props. From here, you can write some div. Div class name connect like card style dot card. Plus name. Okay, from card style. Uh, dot font. From image SRC connect. So this file I will add later. Alt any name and class name that I will add. Art style dot art image. And inside the deep class, deep one deep. Class name that is your touch styles from dot container. This container already is there. This container. So this is a container. Okay, the container has one is the test and Product name. So first, hard coded app creating, and then p tag product description. This is the first day, second day, third day close. Okay. Export default card that you have add index.js for this card. Now check once. I'm not built. It's creating some optimized production build and then it will be loaded. NPM run start. Next start ready. If I will do, yes. Some, this card is displayed, right? So if I will go and Copy paste two times, the so two card will be displayed. Now, my motto is that we have to create some data and then it will be displayed from here. So it will close it and every time you have to build. That is the main thing in the next day because on the server side it is loaded. Whatever changes you have to do. That you have to build, compile, and then you have to run. NPM run start. So two card will be there. Okay. Now uh, some errors also saying what is the error I have to show? Uh, and this image image is not getting that not an issue. Image if you supply, then this error will also come. That will come later.
I have to add something the data right in the pages. Everything should be inside the pages. Create one API folder. That API, you have to create some data dot JSON. Uh, yes. If I say to create, that is the ID. That should be one. That is your animation or any num name you can provide. Card. And that should be your description. Description. Description should be uh, description one. And that should be description two. Copy it, paste, paste it, three, that should be card one, card two, card three. Okay. It's a description. Now, what we'll do and in that index.js file, go to the index.js file, import root data from your dot API data.json. Now I have to create the component and the class component export default that should be your class that should be your index extends react dot component that react you have to right to import React from React. And here, mm, up to render. The render method, you just cut it and paste. And here I have to create some dynamic a card file on this uh, dot props dot card. So I have to create some card static and uh, that's props, right? So that should be a static. I think get real props and return a card that should be your data. This data you have to pass here. Card dot map of 
Pod. It's a fellow. I got two key. He should be your card dot ID. Card dot ID. Now check uh, the data, whatever I'm getting from the props. So as per the data, three cards should display. Again, I'm going to run it. Do this. Mm -hmm. I'm parsing it or index dot js index dot js Data map undefined. Okay. Eighteen here plus Static of getting self props. These dot props dot cards. Uh, okay, yes, 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 yes. I think it should be card, right? Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I map to the card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the cards, and I take them and stick on the card. The map on the bin means data not getting. That's why. So. Mm -hmm. Cannot treat for what is map of undefined. Uh, Just print console the pop dot cards. So the props is there already. Cards map is undefined. That means map undefined means the card is not. I mean the data is not coming from here. That is the main thing. So. Oh, console dot log I can write, but the cards data speed card. That's the data. Uh, initial box there already. 
static function is testing if the spelling is okay. This writing is Yes, missing one there. This parameter name is not writing properly. Mm. Now it should come. Yes. And here in PM run start. Uh, we are using a uh, Nexus for server side rendering. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So what okay, just like uh, uh, Angular in Angular Universal. No? Angular Universal may SSR is there, no? So yes, yes. You yes. have to create the SSR for the Angular Universal. Yes. So every time you have to build, right? Then you can yes. get the output. Yes. So that's the same thing I'm trying to do. Okay. You, you can see three card name right hmm. so data also you can the i pass the card and then any uh, that should be my props and if i will pass the card description card dot that is my one description okay hmm. this description i will pass here and in the card module the props is there right Hmm. And here, just I'm trying uh, this from there. The value this is coming on. Yes. yes, props. This can you also do. Hmm. Uh, you can also add over there. Not an issue, but mm, card card dot This value you should print in your h one h three ten right. Hmm. The card description value. Hmm. So it will be understood that uh, the value whatever getting then is coming from that. Recent file. Okay. And then run start. And then this value again. Come. So description to description, right? It is coming. So data JSON we can read from this structure. I adding these things because uh, now in the next I will create some store Redux store. So I'll add the value the JSON value to the Redux. So from the Redux the JSON will be read. So store action something you have to create over there. So syntax is that and that is the syntax we have to add the uh, it's a uh, this is the one. Just I'm taking one terminal again. EMD. EMD. And that is your in in PMI next Redux wrapper. Yes, Redux and Redux. Three packages we have to add. So already uh, add this thing in my package. So these things we have to add. 
React Redux wrapper. We will copy this thing. This is a comment you can add, or either you have to add yes, to the, the package. Uh, so I'll add over there. Yes. What? You can add this thing, okay? Three packages. This Redux. Okay. These three packages you need to install. Just go and add. Install. This is the command, or you can add. There is two ways. You can add the packages. Redux, 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 and React Wrapper Store is installed. Right? Now I have to create one store that is in the root. Not JS. Move it. Not in the pages. Okay, it's outside. True. Okay. Then I have to input something from next Redux wrapper. That is your create wrapper. This package required. And also Input from Redux. That is your create store. Or you can uh, use Redux toolkit. Create store I'm showing first. And input your data. From where will input? JSON file, right? dot which is api data json now json i need to add over here instead of index.js file it's not required because from the store i will dispatch the data to create your store One, two, state, not state. to add it return create store also pass your reducer this will create an initial state is hello We have to export from next to we will do create the wrapper. Create the wrapper and need to add 
to go in the index.js file. We have to pass the store. And here we have to add store dot dispatch. Initial card. Oh, yeah. Oh. Default you to cut it. It's true. Not with reader and pass your index. That is the higher order component or two. Here we are creating from your store.js file, right? And then we have to add in this special initial card. Now you have to check this is coming from store or not. Uh, but we have to create some action first. And then we have to check these things. So data, I think, not required here. Data have to move. This part I will create the store file. Create some action. So wrapper is created, store is created. Uh, create bit on dot speed equal to Cards. This is the value. Cards value. Put on. That is my initial card. That card uh, I am getting from here. Initial card. So to copy and add your initial cards over here. Return. That is your type. Initial cards. Cards, that is my data. So this data is coming from the JSON. I have to add in the initial card. 
export on the ID. That is your item. I'll return. I that is add <coughs> item. This is the add item. And here go and initial cards. You have to copy and paste it here. Initial cards because both are coming from the store. And also add item. But all are three items I have added. You see initial card ID and initial description that is coming. Then after the team, I have to take one button, button on click. This event, you have to dispatch your add item. Add item. If you have some add item, then you can dispatch. And also, add item. If you want, do you can add these things. Otherwise, not required. I will not add these things because add item not so the things I do just I just close it but reduce are replicate this item I am not adding currently add item action action is there And then create a reducer. Create the reducer. Const reducer is equal to state is equal to initial state. That is your initial state. To my action, what is done? Not switch action dot type. Your case should be initial card. Return. Put your cards. An action. Not cards. Oh. 
Okay, what is there? Okay, head writing. If I want to add something, return. Card action sort cards. If the reducer is taking initial speed also repair and expect. Yeah. Dot cut uh, action dot item. This reducer we have to create. And the add item let's check one minute everything declare otherwise swing the error start date Yes, everything I hope everything is declared. No, but default we have to return something, right? Something default. The mm, split. Move in the searches file. Now trying to hit again. Mm, this working or not from the reducer and action. Team mm, run build. Let me. Yes. Yes, and then game run start. We'll go um, from the local host three thousand. So this coming from your store, right? These three values. If you add, then also these values. Yeah. Now I'm creating one uh, express server from that node modules. This server will now, uh, from the express side, I will render the application again. OK, question. Yes, so mm -hmm. this thing because the store is creating now. We have to understood that uh, from the node side, how can we run that? Uh? 
if we add some notes js so how can i run that so here we can do just it will create so inside of next write node server dot js Then we have to create one server dot js in the same level, right? Where I am adding your put the two dependencies. Now you have to add uh, express same thing. If we have some express. Express package, you can add four point seven ten point one. Either npm install, you can do npm install npm i express now or install. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, it's a yes, six and one npm. Just adding the express one second. Express is installed in my system. Now just write some server JS code and I will get the data. Okay. Sorry, the const. This is all to require what is it? Oh, is it? Express from next, and it requires. That is the next. And comes to your port. That should be 3000. Or any port you can take by default. D is equal to process dot env environment dot node underscore env. That should be your production. And comes to your app. And we will do next because I'm writing uh, uh, that server uh, and adding the next over here. From the next, I will run the code. So go to express site, dev, and const, and then one. You can take any name. That should be your app dot get request. Mm -hmm. uh, app dot prepare your create your server here then run your server that should be for the function And here I will write const. This, this is the server uh, express JS code, okay? Express. And that is my server dot listen. You are the port. 
error first callback so we have to pass the error over there and we'll run if error then throw this is the error first callback right Console dot log server is ready. It will actually prompt the server listener port on HTTPS local host colon dollar. Port number, I think, is port that we have to add. And then we have to create express routes over here. Trying to run this thing from the npm start one you can run it npm start one npm run start one Let's run from the server.js. Server is ready, but I am not adding any route. If you are a local host, you get these things because you have to add the route. You don't have to add any routes. So in the X the server.js you have to add the routes now in this section i will create the route server dot get like one page name i will write on page one comma request and this i'll pass and return your app dot render this method i think yes and request comma race comma less page one so this is one this route in the server so page two is to even create and other those are coming the other request so this is coming from your star and here we'll return and then and insert the handle and pass the request and response to them. Now, what I will do again, I will start until C is at all observer. If you click these things, compile what will come. Page one is coming, uh, page one, what zero? 
So page one, you have to create what? Uh, logo, this page will come because it's coming from the request.handle, right? Now one page I'll create and then link and then that will be done. Okay, that means uh, if I uh, we are using in router in React, then that is working now. So React router first importance given to that your no express JS. Okay, that routing here routing I am not creating. Just concept is that here I will create some page. This page name should be aligned to this. Okay. Okay. A router is not there inside that router i will create inside the next router next router is there now that i will create but this should be aligned with the, because if you are what is starting your express js mm -hmm. so everything from the server side right here no control from the front end means uh, react next itself uh, or react itself okay mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll create one uh, like i'll create one page two right mm -hmm. page two dot yes because i my page name is page two right simple i'll create one thing const page two is equal to page one my page one or page two okay you have to export Export default to like page two. And go uh, your other page also creating because without routing uh, page one. Because two pages I have created na? Simple you create page two page one for the testing purpose. The routing is working or not, right? That is so page one page one uh, page one if i'll write if uh, this thing i'll create right i'm not creating anything over there two pages i have to create now i'm just uh, trying to hit the server again so page two Uh, what should be that then to start one it's good what will come yes so if i will this two is coming right you can see yes and page is coming but link we have to create na? means in the logo or button i click and then it will redirect it right these things you just create the page and this will be on from the server side we will handle here not routing from the reactor next okay okay and go to the index.js file just import one thing the link that you have to import import link uh, from your react next link next there link that you have to do your link means navigation normal yes. there is no such thing in the image i'll wrap this thing away okay? link to whatever link you are provided here not to you and then uh, your next yes is normally hre if you can add i'll wrap this thing right image image i'll wrap href this oh, thing you have had uh, normal it's the normal href you have to add the value take it from the class page two because you have page two na? in your code now test it because it's right it's done okay i'll click the image the logo basically okay 
and that part or i'll do one thing instead of image here i'll create one p tag you understood my anchor page is created now you have to link all the pages the page 2 is coming right compile successfully but i'll again compile and compile these things observer you can take it to localhost if i'll go automatically it will render now my anchor is there right if i will click let's see page mm. 2 is going right so from any link you can create if you explore this thing so actually it's a my anchor tag right but if you click this thing for the css things you have to add the anchor element or this hand hand element right you can create you click and then paste so you automatically go base means main thing is this priority first given to the server because i'll run that react application from the server itself okay like same concept in the universal angular universal you working in angular universal same thing right mm -hmm. so, so handle the request and it will start so if your page is done then you can pass anything in your page page one page two whatever routing supportive routing page also be there page one and page two this server dot get also i have page one and paste okay any questions uh, i'll wrap this up no right now i don't okay so basically it's a express js code nothing much more code over there normal express js code it is okay then we should stop my presentation or the demo is too lengthy today because we have to complete this thing okay so tomorrow you can meet okay okay thank you yeah thank you all bye